Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 28th of 2022 well, this titled Leonid Meteors Through Orion. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken earlier this month from China and looking out at part of the Leonid meteor shower, which occurs in early December. Now a meteor shower occurs when Earth passes through the debris left behind by a comet or asteroid. And as it does, those little bits of debris strike Earth's atmosphere and vaporize, leaving these trails in the sky for us to see. And we call these meteors or sometimes more commonly known as shooting stars. Now we call them the Leonids because they appear to radiate from the constellation of Leo off to the left side. And you can see where they all if you kind of trace them all back, connect them all extend their lines backwards toward the left, they would all seem to converge at a point. And that has to do with the fact that they are all traveling parallel through space in the same orbit. So they're all going to appear to come from the same direction. Now we also see a lot of other things in this image. And in fact, the title is Leonid meteors through Orion. And Orion is there toward the center of the image. And let's go ahead and label that here for you. And you can see the constellation of Orion there. And the meteors do appear to pass partially at least through that constellation. And we also see a number of other things in this image. So let's go ahead and look at those. We can see up to the upper left of Orion, we see the star Betelgeuse, one of the bright stars in Orion. And in fact, one of the bright, the bright red star at the shoulder of the giant. And we see a number of other blue stars within Orion. And remember that the colors are telling us something about the temperatures. So Betelgeuse is a much cooler star than those other stars within Orion. Up to the far upper left, we see Castor and Pollux, two, two stars in Gemini. And at the very top of the image, we see the planet Mars. Now Mars appears red, not because of its temperature, but because of the composition of its soil. So when I talk about colors relating to temperature, that primarily applies to objects like stars. Now off to the upper right, we see two star clusters. We see the open star clusters known as the Pleiades and the Hyades. Pleiades is a little bit younger cluster. We can see the distinct blue stars there. And the Hyades is the V-shaped cluster. And the V is just above the uh, word Hyades there. And that is at the head of the bull on the constellation of Taurus. So the upper right hand side is the constellation of Taurus. And then finally down below uh, Orion and a little bit to the left of it, we see the bright star Sirius, the brightest star in the sky. So a lot of very prominent objects in the sky here. And these are very prominent winter objects to be able to see. So the winter sky is actually relatively bright with stars, has a number of bright stars, including the constellation of Orion. We saw the two stars in Gemini, as well as the bright star Sirius, and many other stars, of course, that I have not discussed here this time. So here we get to see many of the Leonid meteors from earlier this month passing through this region of the sky. So that was our picture of the day for November 28th of 2022. It was titled Leonid Meteors Through Orion. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be closest supernova remnant. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.